Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Jazz the Artist and I'm going to be talking about notifications on OpenSea, how you can turn them on and why you might even want to turn them on. So if you hover over onto your profile avatar on the right, click on account settings and then over to the left, click on notification settings. So I think by default, all of these are clicked on. If they are not, you definitely might want to click on some. So you can get email notifications and make sure that you put your email in your profile. If you click on the general tab, this is where you've set your username, your bio and your email address. This is the email address you're going to get those notifications sent to. So anytime an item is sold that you have listed, you definitely want to get a notification for that. So you probably want to have that checked. When someone bids on one of your items, if you decide to list them as an auction, this is going to help you be notified when people place bids. Um, for price change, when you have possibly, um, when an item you've made an offer on has changed price, so if you are actually buying somebody else's artwork, you've made a bid on it, they actually go in and they change the price, whether they lower it or they up it, that's going to notify you of that. If you're engaged in auctions again, whether it's a Dutch or English auction and it ends, it's going to notify you. If you're purchasing somebody else's artwork and they outbid you, then you can get a notification from that because you might want to go back in. Depending on how bad you want the piece, you might want to bid above that person. So you might want a notification um, if you're getting an outbid. Referral, if you referred somebody to an item and they purchased it, you can get notification through your email of that. If you've bought a piece, owner asset updates, if you've bought a piece, an item, and it's been updated on the creator's end, you can get notified of that. Whenever you purchase something successfully, you can get a notification for that as well. Um, and then also if you want to prescribe to the OpenSea newsletters, which is not bad to have. I would say out of all of this list, if you're just focusing on minting your own collection and selling your own things, definitely you want to have the item sold on here so you can get those notifications of when those are being sold. If you're going to be buying things, it is also very helpful to make sure that you have on the successful purchase. Um, there is a such thing as being able to purchase multiple pieces on accident because when that thing is processing, you do not want to refresh. You do not want to go back. I personally myself have bought two pieces that I did not intend got hit with two gas fees and you don't want to do that. So I would say always make sure that if you're purchasing something, let it process and wait for that notification email to come in to say that it is processed successfully and that you have it. This last notification on the list is actually very important. And again, if you are going to be listing stuff for auction, you might want to receive a notification when a bid has come in for a certain price. Now, by default, whenever you do an auction on OpenSea, OpenSea is automatically going to set the reserve at one ETH. You cannot adjust that. And it's only after somebody has bidded over one ETH that that person is able to go ahead and purchase that piece and actually open C is going to pay the gas fee. So your buyer doesn't have to pay it. You don't have to pay it. Open C is actually going to pay it if the bid exceeds that one ETH, but you cannot change that reserve price. You may not even want your reserve set up at one ETH, but there's no way for you to change it. But what you can do is you can get notified if a bid comes in at a certain point. So if you know that you really You'll take at least 0.5 ETH. Even though the reserve is set at 1 ETH, you can get a notification as long as you set this here to whatever that threshold is. You'll get an email notifying you that, hey, somebody has placed a bid over the threshold. And at that point, you can come in and you can accept that offer. If you accept that offer while the auction is still going on, that person who's buying it will pay the gas fee on it and then you can sell it for that price. Otherwise, you're just going to have to really kind of be keeping an eye on um, your your bids. Again, you can also put on here the bid activity. If somebody's bidding, you can get an email, but you can definitely set that threshold and you won't get an email unless, of course, somebody has already bid over that threshold. So these are the notifications on OpenSea. Hopefully that helps you out knowing which ones you want to keep on, which ones you might want to turn off.